Good morning. I know this is last minute, but if it's possible, could you come and see me during lunch today? Glad to hear it. I wanted to discuss something with you, since it'll be our last chance to do so here. Yes, my time here at Shujin is coming to an end today. It's quite the sad affair. I do have a farewell speech to give the school at morning assembly, but I'd also like to speak with you individually. Considering the occasion, lunch is on me. I'll have something special waiting for you, so you look forward to that. Well, I'll see you later. Dr. Mark, he's really leaving. It's already been half a year, huh? That sure went by fast. And finally, we would like Dr. Maruki to share a few last words with the student body. Well, Doctor, if you will. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. As the Vice Principal has mentioned, today marks the end of my tenure at Shujin Academy. Over the past several months, I've come to learn about all sorts of conflicts that you students have faced this year. Troubles with romance, with studies, in fact, some of you have financial issues that are awfully similar to my own. <laughs> but before I leave here, I want to offer you a final piece of counseling. If your situation ever becomes too painful to endure, remember, it's okay for you to escape your problem. I don't want a single one of you to think that an unfair reality you've been forced into is the only one that you have to live. Um, what I'm trying to say is, even if your life is full of worries, it's best for you not to obsess over them. Your existence in this world is an amazing miracle. You deserve to spend your days in happiness. I'll keep on rooting for all of you to have the best lives possible, even after I'm long gone. Ow. <laughs> I guess things don't always pan out like you expect. Well, that's it. Thank you for having me here this year. Good luck to you all. Dr. Maruki! Dr. Maruki! <laughs> I wanted to thank him personally, but it may be best to hold off on that for a bit. Mm-hmm. I doubt we could get a word in edgewise anyhow. Thank you for coming here. Since this is about to be my last meal at Shujin, I've brought the best lunch ever. These tempura bowls are from a restaurant I've been curious about since I first came to the school. I'd always passed on it due to the price, but today is special. Yes, let's. This aroma's really triggered my appetite. Too bad I can't see anything now. I'm so glad I splurged on that. Upscale dishes like that really do taste incredible. I wish I could just get lost in this bliss forever. Well, now that we've finished our food, let's get down to business. First off, I have quite big news. My paper's done. I've mentioned this before, but still, this is truly thanks to you. Had you not shared your experience and insights with me, this paper never would have been completed. Please, allow me to express my gratitude to you once more as a most helpful student of Shujin. And as a phantom thief as well. Huh. So you're not denying it. Why don't you take a look at the title of my paper over there? You know, the Phantom Thieves' act of changing hearts is rather reminiscent of cognitive science in practice. They infiltrate a reality that exists solely for their target, 
a reality wholly separated from the one that the public recognizes. By accessing that world, they gain the means of permanently altering their target's cognition. That is what I hypothesize as being the change of heart you induce in your targets. Should I take your silence to mean I'm correct? To be entirely honest, it was all the way back in April, when I first came to speak with the principal here about providing counseling to you students. I actually witnessed the moment when you came out of an individual's reality like I'd mentioned. You suddenly appeared in the back alley near the school. I believe Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san were with you. Takamaki-san appeared to be extremely exhausted. Thanks. It wasn't long after that scene that Mr. Kamoshida had his change of heart. Beyond what I witnessed, I had also been told that you three were closely affiliated with Mr. Kamoshida in some way. At that point, I was already half convinced that you were involved. I was almost certain Mr. Kamoshida's change of heart was provoked by the three of you. Hmm. Well... I've been researching cognitive science ever since I was a grad student. For years, I've been attempting to directly interact with an individual's cognition, so I can help address their pain and despair. But, for certain reasons, this research has never been acknowledged in academia. Despite that, I continually pursued evidence that my hypothesis is correct. It was during that time I happened to come across the Phantom Thieves of Hearts fresh from a mission. My heart began to dance. I thought to myself, maybe I could complete my research if I were to have your assistance. That's why I approached you and your group of friends in the first place. I hadn't mentioned any of this until now because, well, I didn't want you to take it the wrong way and suspect my motives. But I think that's everything I'd kept from you. Does that change your opinion of me? Why would I do that? I like to think of myself as someone who wouldn't sell out a person to whom I owe so much. If you don't believe what I'm saying, you're free to change my heart as you like. Thanks to you, I finally know what I need to do. I'm going to stand up to our current reality. I swear I'll use my research to make our world a better place. Though, it'll likely be through different means than how the Phantom Thieves reform members of society. Indeed. You have a strong moral compass, never losing sight of your own definition of justice. I'm more grateful than ever to have met a young man like yourself. Although it's not like this is the last time we'll see one another, still, thank you for everything up to this point. I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the Counselor, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. I'm going to follow the path that I believe in. I sincerely hope that one day, at the end of that path, I'll be able to aid you as well. Even if you just considered it to be meddling in your affairs. Whoops. Looks like we're out of time. We'll meet again though, right? That's right. Hey! No, it's nothing. Best of luck to the both of us. See you around. <laughs>